The second battle of Bull Run a battle of second Manassas was fought August 29th and 30, 1862 in Prince William County, Virginia as part of the American Civil War. It was the culmination of the Northern Virginia campaign waged by Confederate General Robert E. Lee's Army of Northern Virginia against Union Major General John Pope's Army of Virginia and a battle of much larger scales and numbers than the First Battle of Bull Run or First Manassas fought on July 21, 1861 on the same ground. Following a wide-ranging flanking march, Confederate Major General Thomas J. Stonewall, Jackson captured the Union Supply Depot at Manassas Junction, threatening Pope's line of communications with Washington, D.C. withdrawing a few miles to the northwest. Jackson took up strong concealed defensive positions on Stony Ridge and awaited the arrival of the wing of Lee's army commanded by Major General James Longstreet. On August 28, 1862, Jackson attacked a Union column just east of Gainesville at Bronner's Farm, resulting in a stalemate but successfully getting Pope's attention. On that same day, Longstreet broke through light Union resistance in the Battle of Thoroughfare Gap and approached the battlefield. Pope's mission was to fulfill two basic objectives, protect Washington and the Shenandoah Valley, and draw Confederate forces away from McClellan by moving in the direction of Gordonsville. Based on his experience fighting McClellan in the seven days, Robert E. Lee perceived that McClellan was no further threat to him on the Virginia Peninsula, so he felt no compulsion to keep all of his forces in direct defense of Richmond. This allowed him to relocate Jackson to Gordonsville to block Pope and protect the Virginia Central Railroad. Lee had larger plans in mind. Since the Union Army was split between McClellan and Pope and they were widely separated, Lee saw an opportunity to destroy Pope before returning his attention to McClellan. He committed Major General A.P. Hill to joining Jackson with 12,000 men. At the Battle of Thoroughfare Gap on August 28, Longstreet's wing broke through light Union resistance and marched through the gap to join Jackson. This seemingly inconsequential action virtually ensured Pope's defeat during the coming battles because it allowed the two wings of Lee's army to unite on the Manassas battlefield. An exact estimate of both armies' strength at the battle is not possible as different reports and returns provide differing figures. The total strength of the Army of Northern Virginia, cavalry and artillery included, was slightly less than 55,000 men. Factoring in only infantry, the effective Confederate strength was probably about 50,000 men, possibly as low as 47,000. Union strength was around 63,000 men if Banks's corps was excluded as it was not present in the battle aside from a few detachments. The total Union strength with Banks added in was approximately 70,000 men. Pope became convinced that he had trapped Jackson and concentrated the bulk of his army against him. On August 29, Pope launched a series of assaults against Jackson's position along an unfinished railroad grade. The attacks were repulsed with heavy casualties on both sides. At noon, Longstreet arrived on the field from Thoroughfare Gap and took position on Jackson's right flank. On August 30, Pope renewed his attacks, seemingly unaware that Longstreet was on the field. When massed Confederate artillery devastated a Union assault by Major General Fitz John Potter's 5th Corps, Longstreet's wing of 25,000 men in five divisions counterattacked in the largest simultaneous mass assault of the war. The Union's left flank was crushed and the army was driven back to Bull Run. Only effective Union rearguard action prevented a replay of the first Manassas defeat. Pope's retreat to Centerville was nonetheless precipitous. Success in this battle emboldened Lee to initiate the ensuing Maryland campaign. Thank you for watching till the end. Please consider encouraging us by subscribing to our channel. In order to show your support, don't forget to like and share the video.